Hello YouTubers, this is your host from Gus Techno with another comparison of Mi Room 9.10.31 versus Mi UI EU 9.10.31 which is based on Mi UI 11 Android 10. I won't be explaining the features of Mi UI 11 again because I already did that in my review of MIUI EU port based on 9.10.31 in my previous video. I'll be sharing the link of that video in the description as well. And uh, before I go ahead with the comparison, I would like you all who you know like my reviews or who watch the videos to like and subscribe. It'll really help me out. Now let's go ahead and look at the changes which have been done to Mi Room as compared to Mi UI EU port. So the first change is you know added a function of always show unread notifications on the lock screen. So let's see uh, where you'll find that. So let's go to the lock screen option and now you see always show notifications always show unread notification on the lock screen so mostly uh, you know this is for few notifications which at times don't appear on the lock screen of me why by default so it's a really good feature because even at times you know I've noticed that <clears throat> although there are few notifications which are unread when I go to the home screen it doesn't show up on the lock screen uh, that's one of the good features which has been added then they have also added the ability to you know enable maximum brightness when calling so let's take a look under the display section you'll find maximum brightness on call I haven't turned it on I don't want my battery to drain uh, but you can also schedule it within what time you want this to happen <coughs> for few of you it may be helpful but as of now I'm not using it extended support for Milan Pro font so Milan Pro is you know the font which was extensively featured in you know all the <coughs> conferences about MIUI 11 by Xiaomi and uh, this is one feature which is not included in MIUI EU it has Roboto font by default and even if you install the MIUI LAN font uh, manually through the theme section, uh, you don't get the option of text, size and weight. So this, this option, the one right below at the bottom, this will be grayed out. So you won't be able to use it. You'll be able to use the other option which is this one. But this one won't work. Alright. And to enable the MIUI 11 font which is MILAN Pro font you can just enable use new MIUI fonts under the display section of the settings another feature is uh, improved display of watch numbers when you using Roboto fonts so I don't know uh, whether it matters that much because I didn't notice any anything wrong with the fonts even when I was using Roboto font on MIUI EU so you can check that out for yourself I haven't done that and now as you can see one major difference there is digital well-being and parental control do you see this so instead of screen time MIUI Mi Room gives you an option to enable digital well-being how you do that you enable the developer options I hope everyone of you knows that how to do that then go to additional settings developer options go right to the bottom right to the bottom now there are few very good options here one is use digital well-being instead of screen time I've enabled that extended power menu option is there which is not there in MIUI EU Chrome then you also have an option to show Google feed. So this is how you'll replace the app vault with Google feed. All right. 
on your Rome launcher all you do need to do is go left and you'll see the Google feed right every other thing remains the same they have also included Magis version 20.1 and I can tell you the CTS profile is fixed on this one so it won't turn out to be false when you go into Magis I can show that to you as well now if you check on safety net status see it works right out, right out of the box and there are a few bugs involved in uh, this one which are <clears throat> one is the fingerprint which is uh, which I have already explained in my previous review for MIUI U uh, so those models which are, don't have good X sensor for POCO F1 uh, they may face issues you know registering their fingerprint uh, but the face unlock works so you can use that as an alternative uh, the second thing is the stock camera portrait mode gives green screen so uh, I'll just show it to you uh, so photo option it works like you know even when you turn the camera like this it works video it works even the front camera both work now when you go to portrait there's one way okay if you want portrait, you have to change this to front camera click on portrait right you can see there is portrait available but as soon as you switch to the back camera you'll get this screen right now night option well initially it was giving me it was crashing on me now it's not which is strange Memoji works panorama is working pro is working see night I'm not sure because it was crashing on me I don't know how it's working now short video slow motion everything is working except for the back camera portrait but uh, you know in a discussion of MIUI EU ROM there was a guy who reported that the he faced many crashes so if you want just like me you can install Google camera it works absolutely fine and plus it's a Google camera 7 so this is the latest one which is available and I'll post the link of this one as well <clears throat> so if you want to give it a try you can do that uh, MIUI U I'll say it's pretty stable it's like except for you know the fonts missing MIUI LAN, Mi LAN Pro font which is missing and uh, the camera works flawlessly in that one apart from that both the rooms are same I have also installed Arto 11 uh, custom kernel on this one so the battery backup it's almost the same because that one includes the outer kernel by default so all right keep on flashing the rooms and give a feedback any questions you have post in the comment section I'll be more than happy to answer them